And now our sports correspondent, Colin Shirley, brings us the latest in Georgia College local and regional athletics. What you got for us, Colin? Hi there, guys. Alrighty, wanted to talk to you first about all the sports that have happened here in Georgia. First, I'd like to start off with the Braves, the Bravos, and Bravo indeed. We're headed toward the playoffs. So thanks to Freddie Freeman in the bottom of the ninth against the Marlins a couple nights ago, we're headed toward the playoffs. Reason being, he was able to hit a nice two-run blast right toward center field, bringing Chipper Jones home. Now, this is amazing for the fact that last season, we ran into some trouble, and, Chip, and excuse me, Freeman was the fact that we couldn't go any farther. He hit into a double play. We weren't able to continue. So it was really great to see him happy and clearing those bases, coming toward the guys, and we're really excited about being the wild card. That being said, the Nationals still have the division lead, but they can't stay that way for long. For the fact that we've got a schedule that's much easier than they do, and it may change the tide. We go up against easy opponents like the Mets and the Pirates while they go up against the Cardinals and the Phillies once again. So, I would say that you've got to cheer for the Braves all the time. Yes, but in this instance, I would say cheer for the Phillies and Cardinals. Because if the Nats begin to lose consecutively and we start to win a lot, we may be able to clinch that division spot and not have to go to the one-round elimination wildcard game. How exciting is that? Anyway, I digress. And so, in other news, the Falcons, for some pigskin, won against the... Carolina, excuse me, the Chargers. I said last week that it was the Colts, and that's wrong. For the fact that I don't really watch football that often, and so I didn't know my facts. So, we played against the San Diego Chargers, and we won 27-3, which was fantastic. And the reason being is that Matt Ryan has been throwing gas and hasn't thrown a single interception yet. Let's keep it going, Matt. But, as we go up against the Carolina Panthers, I want to give you guys one of Collins' tips for victory. Eyes on Cam Newton, and keep their running game slow. Because if they can't get it downfield, we'll be able to take it to the end zone time and time again. So, in local county news, we've got Baldwin High School, who won 34-4 against Howard High School. Now, 34-4 is a pretty incredible score, I agree. So, if we can keep this up, we're going to be cruising towards state. And so, fingers crossed, we'll see what they can do. In other news, Georgia College has a lot of cool sports things going on this week. And last week, so I want to give you the update. For tennis, we've done really great in the ITA tournament between the doubles and the singles of other counties in the region. We've been able to pull off some really good wins and some really good comebacks, and we hope we can continue it as we go down through the season. For soccer, we were rated 8th in the southeast region, which is amazing for the fact that we've got a pretty small school as compared to others, and yet we're still in the runnings. And then in other news, the late intramural sports have all started. So if you're interested in playing volleyball, kickball, dodgeball, or if you want to play inner two water polo, to any of you who actually know who that is, make sure to go out and sign up your team. But hurry, for the fact that if you sign up quickly, you won't have to pay the $50 dues. But if you wait a little bit longer, there's only 20 spots left, you'll have to shell out the money and get a nice spot. So, I almost forgot to mention the NFL referee replacement situation. Now, I know that there was a big, big upset these past couple days because of the fact that they were throwing in a strike and not wanting to ref these games. Well, guys, I'd love to say that that's over, and we're going to have those replacements out and our solid golden boys back in. Now, something I've wanted to mention over the past couple weeks is we're not actually allowed to use the pictures and stuff that they use on ESPN and SportsCenter. So, if any of you guys are going out to the games or you're going to go and see one of the events, get some photos and send them in this way. You can send them through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube, and we can use those and show our fans just everything that's happening in the world of sports. And so, if you guys want to ever train and get ready for the sports yourselves, you're going to have to go out either to the Wellness Center or Centennial. And some people don't know what Centennial is. So here you go, and learn a little bit right now. The Centennial Center gives you access to a lot of great things that you might want to do, especially if you're on campus. But with the new Wellness Center, a lot of people have forgotten. So we wanted to give you an update on all the cool things that this place offers. As soon as you enter the two front doors, the left wing is a host of many different student-related activities. Monday nights is ballroom dancing, and Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is the ropes course. Pretty strenuous, but also great for the heart. It's almost matched to aerobics. Now, unfortunately, most people don't know about this, but Centennial hosts four, I repeat, four separate racquetball courts. If you've never played racquetball, set those myths aside. It's not an old man's game. It's actually a lot of fun, it's a lot of thinking too. So if you ever get the chance, come on out to Centennial and try it. Aggravating, frustrating, and exhilarating, racquetball can be a great option for a good evening. Now the Wellness Center has basketball courts. This much is true, but they can tend to be pretty crowded. So if you want to play a little bit more of a private match, whether it be one-on-one, two-on-two, dunk contest, you can come out here to Centennial. 
NBA Street can be real life if you just put your mind to it. All right, wrapping up on the Centennial Tour here today. Hope you learned a little, maybe come out to try some new things, but make sure you at least remember that these seats behind me are empty and they're only filled by people like you. So when the sports seasons get underway, I want to see you out here.